So today I want to talk about formulas for string quartet. This was a piece written in 1994 and for the Brindisi Quartet who premiered the piece for DRS Radio in Bern in 1994. And uh, it's their recording which we're going to hear today, two movements. This piece was in seven short movements and we're going to hear movement number four and number, movement number six. As you can see in the score, I was already doing little decorations that, uh, with notes, musical drawings. That, that came from an earlier project called Symmetries. But I wasn't really illustrating the music. And um, that's why it needs to be illustrated now, um, many years later. Um, but it's important to really understand how Movement four, for example, was constructed. Because this came exactly from the Fibonacci series. Um, people often talk about how um, Bartok used Fibonacci's series. And, and sometimes they even say that Bach did. But um, uh, finally, uh, all those analyses are very approximate. It's never exactly Fibonacci. But I wanted to do exactly Fibonacci. I did exactly Fibonacci in another piece uh, called Movements for Wind Quintet also. But this fourth movement is um, really uh, exactly Fibonacci, which, as you probably know, is simply you add 1 plus 1 makes 2. You add 1 plus 2 makes 3. 2 plus 3 makes 5. 3 plus 5, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. 8 plus 13, 21. Um, 30, 34, and so forth. And here it's the cello who leads everything. So he plays ta ta, ta ta ta, then 2 plus 3, then 3 plus 5, da da da, da 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 da, and then 5 plus 8, da 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 da. Da -de -dum, da -de -da -de -dum, and so on. This goes on. Um, the viola enters at this point, playing uh, a note that sustains two beats, followed by a note that sustains three beats, and then again, like that, two, three, three, two, three, and so forth. Then the second violin comes in, sustaining a note five times, and then five notes, and then eight beats, and so forth. And then finally, the, uh, the first violin comes in with very long notes, uh, 21 and 13 and 34 and so forth. Um, well, we're going to see the big drawing uh, and follow it with the music. But let me show you here a little bit how it's constructed. Here's the uh, two, three, da dee, da dee dum, and then da dee, da dee dum, with the uh, viola, da dee dee, da dee, da dee dum, then the second violin comes on, da dee, da dee dum, da dee dee, da dee, da dee dum, and so forth. And then you can see that the uh, these are all Fibonacci numbers, um, um, and even in the inside we have these uh, implied Fibonacci numbers. Uh, which uh, you don't really hear, but um, this is what uh, is the sum of the Fibonacci numbers that sum the previous Fibonacci numbers. And in the center you have 144, which is another uh, Fibonacci numbers, which summarizes this whole sequence. Um, this is not the entire piece, but um, this is most of the piece. And um, I think you can uh, hear that the Fibonacci series is literally there. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to talk about the sixth movement of Formulas for String Quartet, which has to do with isorhythm. Isorhythm is an idea that I learned many years ago from a book from the 50s by Joseph Schillinger. It's a book that uh, for me was very important. I think it's a good book, but um, very underestimated and little used today. Um, the idea of isorhythm was known even in the Middle Ages, but very little used by composers. Um, the principle is very simple. You take a melodic loop of one length and a rhythmic loop of another length and you turn them, let them turn together until they come back into phase. The example that I used in this movement is a melodic loop which goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a rhythmic loop which goes play, 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 hold. Play, 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 hold. And that gives us la, 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 la. La 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 and now we do the same thing starting on the top note la 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 now that's eight times the rhythmic cycle five times the melodic cycle and we're back to where we began after 40 notes um, this is the drawing I did for Formulas for String Quartet Movement 6. And just what I just sang, you can see in the first violin part, which is the fast notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, four, three, two, and then she's violin, first violin starts all over again. Second violin has another uh, isometric loop. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, and starts over again. The viola is even slower. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, and the cello only gets two notes. So one here, two here, and back to one here. And, um, but the interesting thing that I think is important is that you never get two instruments playing at the same time. It's always uh, one instrument at a time. This gives a transparency to the texture that uh, is rather unusual. Uh, in string quartets. Let's listen to this recording. Always as before, it's the Brindisi Quartet playing for DRS Radio in Switzerland in 1994. 